This is Sumit here again. Now I am going to tell you regarding database connectivity with our Java application. Here as a database I am using SQL Server 2005 and JDBC Type 1 driver. First of all we will create a database and table inside it. To go there SQL Server 2005 Management Studio. As it will start you need to click on connect. As it is connected, you can see the list of databases here. We will just create our own database. Suppose my database name I have kept as login underscore tb. Click on add. Inside it, we can click on table new table two columns I will make suppose first one is for UID data type I am keeping as NVAC second one is for PWD as you can see here it is for user ID and password UID and PWD I will save the table as login table To keep some records in it, I will just open the table and keep the user id as Sumit and password as Sumit underscore 1, 2, 3 I close it now we need to create the DSN. To create DSN, we will go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Data Sources ODBC. Here you need to click on Add, SQL Server, Finish. Name, suppose my DSN name I will give as login underscore DSN. My server name, server name you can find in SQL Server, Properties. Generally, it used to be your system name slash SQL Express. Click on next. Next. Change the default database. Suppose my default database is login underscore db. The same database what we have created there in SQL Server. We just made connectivity of our DSN with this database. Now, here, test is completed successfully. Click on OK. OK close these things. Now our database is created. Inside the database table is created. Table 1 record is there. Now we need to create our Java application. Suppose this is my Java program. It is just to insert some values. Now suppose first of all you need to import java.sql. After that write your class. Inside the class Load the JDBC driver as client.forname sun.jdbc.odbc.jdbc.odbc .odbc driver connection con is called to driver manager dot get connection here after JDBC colon odbc colon login underscore DSN this is our DSN name one is statement we need to create after that statement dot execute update insert into login values the same database query for insert two insert values we have kept here after that we are committing the connection and again we are retrieving the value from login table with execute query here we have chosen the result set as rs and we are writing while rs.next till the time any records are there in result set it will fetch the value it will keep in i1 and i2 and it will print it we can just compile the file we can execute it. Now we can see here three records are there. One record what previously we have created in our database and two records are the new one what we have created here. Now the other program we will see to retrieve all the records from our database 
the same way here one result set has been taken where statement dot execute query and the query is select star from login now here S1 is equal to RH dot get string one. It is to retrieve the first column. RH dot get string two to retrieve the second column. Then we will just print user ID and password. Here to execute this one. So we got the output here as user ID and passwords. Now to create a simple login application where it will show whether the user is valid or invalid. First of all, class of for name connection con is equal to this one statement we will create two strings we are taking a and b and one query select star from login where user id equal to a and password equal to b result set rs is equal to st dot execute query if rs dot next if any result is there then valid user if it is not there then it is invalid user now here in a i will keep as Sahil and password as 9739585515. Here we can see that the name is not Sahil, it should be Sumit, and password is correct. But even though because user ID is wrong, it will print here as invalid user. Now, here if we give the user ID as Sumit and password as this, as we click. Here we got the answer as valid user. So now we have learned how to create the JDBC connectivity with Java. Thanks. Thank you.